Welcome to McDowell High School. McDowell High School is situated in Mill Creek Township, one of the largest municipalities in northwestern Pennsylvania, with a population of 52,000 people. If you're considering a move into the Mill Creek area, we would love to have you join us in our community of class at McDowell High School. Welcome to McDowell High School. I'm Tim Rankin, principal here at McDowell, and we'd like to share with you some of the opportunities available to the young men and women of the Mill Creek community as students right here at McDowell. But first, let's start off with a little bit of history of McDowell High School. McDowell High School was built in 1953 on this site in Mill Creek Township. Land was donated to the school district by the McDowell family, who had a farm in this area. Three sisters, Rose McDowell Bible, Mabel McDowell Russell, and Nina McDowell, all of whom were teachers, taught in Mill Creek schools at the time. Those three sisters agreed, when they could no longer run the farm themselves, that it would be appropriate to donate the land to the school district, because they believed so deeply and passionately in the value of education for the youth of the Mill Creek area. So construction began in November of 1953 on this building, and when it was opened, there were 570 students enrolled at McDowell with 29 teachers. As the student population swelled, a renovation was undertaken in 1960, just a few years after the building opened, where 15 additional classrooms were added, including what is now the North Gymnasium. And in 1965, another nine classrooms were added. So just 12 years after the high school opened, there were a total of 37 classrooms at McDowell. Shortly thereafter, the Mill Creek population was continuing to grow, and by 1968, 2,000 students were enrolled in this building alone, which was really designed to handle, at that time, less than 1,200 students. In 1973, the Intermediate High School was opened, resulting in the current configuration of a two-building campus. In 1985, the Ingram Report was released by facility planners, recommending renovations to the interiors. In fact, they recommended that if the renovations were not made, the school could not continue to function past the year 2000. Six million dollars was invested by the school board and the community into McDowell High School. In 1988, that renovation was done mostly to the infrastructure and the interior of the building but it did include 10,000 square feet of new construction as well. That resulted in the current facility that we now inhabit here at McDowell High School, where we have nearly 70 teachers and just under 1,200 students. What do you know about the story of the Trojan head out in the front lobby? Can you tell me anything about that? Yeah, my recollection is uh, Dr. Gus Mort provided that as a gift to the school, and the uh, tradition is that um, it, the Trojan is not to be stepped on. If, uh, students and faculty respect that and move around it. Dr. Gus Mork was involved in the athletic programs here at McDowell High School for many years during the 70s and 80s. And he was a real supporter of McDowell High School and a tremendous supporter of McDowell Trojans and the Trojan athletic programs. In fact, he donated many items to the school, including this Trojan head crest. Since the Trojan head was placed at the entrance to McDowell High School, there has been a long-standing tradition of respect and honor. No student or staff member steps on the Trojan head out of respect for those traditions of McDowell High School and the pride that we all have in our facility and the McDowell Trojans. Today, you're going to be meeting some of the students of McDowell and you'll be meeting some of our staff and teachers as we take a video tour of the high school. Join us to see our community of class. McDowell High School offers one of the best educations anyone can get in Northwestern Pennsylvania. We really believe, and our students believe, that this is a great place to come to school every day. We look forward to spending some time telling you about our school. And with that having been said, welcome to McDowell. About 10 years ago, we moved from a strictly guidance counselor model to a student services or student support services model, which involved a restructuring of our entire department. Uh, instead of having guidance counselors assigned to students and following students, we went with a uh, guidance counselor that services a lot of different areas and 
uh, two other positions referred to as instructional support advisors. And our instructional support advisors focus in on students with their academic concerns uh, and try and make sure that their academic settings and their academic courses are appropriate and monitor their progress in their academic classes. It could be something as simple as talking with the student, trying to make sure they're organized for the class. It could be something more concentrated like some, some s tutorial services that are being provided. But the, the academic support advisor kind of monitors each and every student to see how they're doing. Um, in addition to our academic support advisors or our ISAs, instructional support advisors, we have uh, several other personnel in the office referred to as career planning associates. And our career planning associates work along with the instructional support advisors to provide one-on-one -on -one and small group instruction to our students in their career endeavors. We have a registrar that works with our department. And our registrar is uh, a specialized person who works on on um, taking our new students and their families and bringing them into the school, enrolling them, offering them all of the services, explaining our school, orienting them to the school, and actually getting a schedule together under the supervision of the guidance counselor or the instructional support advisors. But they serve as a transition person to help uh, a family and a new student coming into our building to feel comfortable uh, and help them to assimilate into a larger school setting. We ask that when a new family is coming to McDowell that we have a, an advanced look at their academics and we get a copy of, of several report cards perhaps or a, a transcript from their, their, re, their school that they were previously enrolled in. We take a look at their academics. We ask that they come in and make an appointment with our registrar. Usually an instructional support advisor or the counselor would be involved in that process too. And we sit down and talk one-on-one -on -one with the parents and the, and the student involved to work together to formulate a, a well-organized, thoughtfully planned schedule for that student that would include their individual interests as well as trying to match up their levels of classes um, and make it a strong positive transition. Sometimes uh, a parent or a student feels a little reticent about entering a building and, and particularly coming in after the start of the year. So we do participate in something called student shadowing. So uh, a parent um, could call ahead and arrange for that to have a student come in and shadow one of our other McDowell students for a day or maybe half a day to get a look-see at what that particular um, setting would look like so that the student, potential student would be following around one of our students and attending classes and getting a feel for what the school is all about. And that has worked in many cases to help students make a decision on what school they would like to attend and see if this is a good match for them. We have about 70 different college and uh, post-secondary school admissions counselors that make visits to McDowell High School in person and our students get a chance to sign up for those and uh, come down and talk one-on-one -on -one or maybe in a small group with the admissions counselors of some potential schools that they're looking at. It's a very big component of our office is to assist students at looking at life after high school and, and helping them to make that connection early in their senior year. Uh, we have a variety of different mechanisms from computer-based explorations to the hard copies of, of college catalogs and school course descriptions and, and um, also flyers and brochures um, that come in so that students are starting to think real seriously about what they'd like to do after high school. We do all the processing of the college applications. We go through the process in senior English classrooms early in the fall with all of the high school students, all of our high school seniors, so that they get the process kind of spelled out for them and then they begin their journey on looking at applications, getting recommendation letters, doing college visitations, coming down and looking at our choices, college career programs and our post-secondary options programs. I would have to say that McDowell Student Services is people central of McDowell High School. From 7 o'clock in the morning till 3.30 in the afternoon, it is a constant stream of adults and students coming in because we offer a variety of different services and um, needs. We try and meet the needs of all of our students. We are online and we are available 24-7 uh, to be accessed through the webpage. Um, our student services webpage offers a homework board so that our parents and students can access information about each one of their classrooms at home and uh, they're able to kind of monitor where their student should be as far as homework and what they should have accomplished for the class.
if the student services office is the people center of McDowell High School, then this, the library, is the academic or resource center of McDowell High School. Scores of students every day come in and out of this room. Classes come in here with their teachers. Individual students come in to do independent study and research work. And our librarian, Lee Costis, uh, as well as her aide, provides all kinds of support both technologically and in terms of the resources available for what the students need to have a state-of-the-art education. Uh, the library has approximately 17,000 volumes. We carry subscriptions to over 20 magazines. We also have over 20 databases in addition to the general uh, searches that we can do through the internet. We have a large physical space. It's uh, generally divided into two areas. We seat uh, approximately 150 people all told. We're also open after school every day for an hour and we also have Sunday afternoon library hours so that students and are able to come in and use any of the resources during those off-school hours as well. The academic options available here at McDowell offer a wide array uh, for students of all different levels of academic ability. Everything from the most advanced AP course options through a thorough honors program, through academic levels of study, as well as supported instruction. Uh, students who have IEPs and special needs in the classroom are thoroughly supported uh, through uh, support staff, uh, aides in the classroom, and, and, and many other adaptations and modifications that make every student successful as well as allow students to excel. I started taking AP classes, which they're a lot of fun. Uh, my AP physics class I have, it's every day with Mr. Everland and he's a great teacher. Well, I'm taking mostly honors classes. It's nice because it gives you a balance between working and then working on your own time. I have a pretty tough course load. Um, I enjoy it though. I enjoy my classes. I feel that the AP classes, you know, allow the students to learn the most and the most in-depth AP classes have been good. I've taken a lot of science classes and I really enjoy like chemistry and the biologies kind of tied in together and I really liked it. My independent study experience deals with not in the school but traveling outside of the school. I go to doctor at least two or three times a week. What it's like to be an orthodontist, I get to see the different aspects of the job. So I'm writing a novel for it in uh, 19th century prose style and I tried to emulate Jane Austen's style actually for this independent study. At a high school, they wouldn't offer a specific Jane Austen composition style course. But with independent study, you can do something like that. I did an independent study with my 10th grade biology teacher, Mrs. Parker. I did it on the effect on, of color on memory. I joined the Erie County Technical School in order to learn more about commercial art. I just couldn't love it more. It gives me an opportunity to really uh, concentrate on the art field and to, to really study what I, I, I love to do. The, the key is that you don't get off track and try and do your best with every project that you're given. ESL is it. It's basically English as a second language. Uh, it helps you learn about the English development better with the understanding and how to get there. It just helps you a lot. Like the reading and the writing and the spelling has definitely improved since I've been in that class. During the school day, I use a walker and I, if I need to go from one floor to another, I usually use the elevator and sit on the stairs. I take all the uh, core subjects, history, English, chemistry, and uh, math. History is my favorite subject. Uh, they're always open for questions and they're always there to help. Concurrent college takes the place of two classes. Instead of coming to class here at McDowell, you would travel to either Gannon or Edinburgh universities. Currently, I'm taking Invitation to Philosophy. It's very interesting. Um, a lot of the times they want you to take invitational classes. That way they transfer when you get to college next year. I started a math course at Gannon called Linear Algebra. I took Math Analysis 1. Uh, last semester and this semester I'm doing math analysis too. It's useful because when I go to college next year, uh, I'll have a basis for a lot of courses.
most people think of McDowell High School and think about athletics. And we offer 23 varsity sports, and all those sports programs also have JV programs. We have a lot of students involved in um, interscholastic athletics. We do offer a lot of academic programs, and a lot of those programs our competitive academic programs. One of the things that we try to do here as a school is to connect students to their school and then to make their experience here at McDowell High School much more exciting. If you've ever been to McDowell High School, you would see that student life is lively and doing well. So just being in the environment, uh, you'll be exposed to what some of those opportunities are. Football program. Soccer. The student council. The Center for Performing Arts. ROTC. I'm in the jazz band. Water polo and swimming. Quiz bowl. Girls athletic club. Chorus. The vocal ensemble. Academic challenge. Key club. Basketball team. class at McDowell High School is an environment that all students can really get along and all students can perform up to their ability. We want students to feel that this is a home away from home and that when they come to school and they're working on their academics that uh, they're very comfortable and they feel safe and it's an environment that they will excel in. To sum it up, it's a place that students want to be, that students do well, and a very positive environment to learn. I've really enjoyed all the new people I've met. Um, with McDowell being such a big school, you just meet someone new pretty much every day. Academically, it, it stands with all the schools. I mean, we have someone going to Yale and MIT this year. I mean, the best part of the experience I've had at McDowell is the great teachers that I've encountered and been taught by. There's such a team spirit about everything and it truly is a community of class. It's actually smaller at school than most people think it is. School runs on a block scheduling, which uh, means um, every other day you have four classes. And so, in having that, you have two days to do any homework or activities that you need to. And it's just really nice system we have. Um, I would tell them not to limit themselves. There's so many opportunities here to take advantage of. Um, and not to be one of the people that just kind of hangs back and stays in the shadow, that to find their niche. You know, try different things out and you'll eventually find out what you like and you'll settle down and you'll have a lot of fun. You have to be a part of McDowell and just make new friends and meet new people and that's the biggest part, I think. They should get involved with at least, you know, some sport, activity, club, anything, because you'll make so many friends that way. Take everything in because it really is a great time. I mean, it's four years and they go by so fast. It's just a great school to go to. Thank you.